I've never been that type of comedian. I like to fight. <laughs> This is Inglewood's finest, my brother in comedy, an amazing friend, a mentor, so fucking dope, a king of comedy to me, a Chicago staple in comedy. Y'all act like y'all don't know who the fuck he is. Y'all act like y'all don't know who the fuck he is. Let's go. Put y'all motherfucking hands together. Bring that energy all the way to the roof for comedian Bowen DJ trying to make me gang bang. What up, y'all? Uh, thank y'all for the birthday wishes. That's right. That's all good. Um, explain something, y'all. When you get older, you start remembering bullshit. I remember when I was like 13 years old. This lady lived across the street from me named Miss Rome. And, you know, I grew up in the time when you better not walk on nobody's grass. You know. Walking on motherfucking grass was a cardinal sin. I cut across her grass. She said, oh, I know you just didn't. But Miss Rowan went too far with shit, you know. She going to talk about something. You know what? You always tearing up something in the neighborhood. You ain't going to make it to the next age. Whatever you is now, you ain't going to make it to the next age. I said, all right, Miss Rowan, I apologize. So I'm making my business. Every year on my birthday, I go knock on Miss Rome door. I was over there Tuesday. I was like, hey, Miss Rome, it's me. I'm 53, I'm still here. That bitch said, me too. I said, shit. <laughs> I'm in a race with this. It's a race for death with this motherfucker, man. Life too short, man. You gotta have fun. Motherfuckers be, you know, 53 look good on you. Nigga, I don't know a bad looking motherfucker from my era, you know, unless they was on crack. You know, crack chains, things like teeth, you know. <laughs> Family members ain't fucking with you, you know. A whole bunch of bullshit, but nigga, if you was cool, you good. We survived a bunch of shit. I'm, I'm a survivor of baby mamas. <laughs> nigga, let me tell y'all something, man. Y'all don't understand child support court if you ain't been in child support court. And some of you lousy bitches be putting people in child support court for no reason. You knew this nigga didn't have no money at first. Why the fuck would you go get a, and y'all don't even be knowing their name? Go to the motherfucking aid office. Yeah, his name was uh, Black. That's his last name. No, that's his name name. Stupid bitch. Black is not a name. Remember my baby mama took me to child support court and see, I'm, I'm a real motherfucker. Y'all know it's two places men don't want to go. We don't want to go to child support court, and we don't want to go to the doctor's office. That's why niggas be out here fucked up. But man, she took me to child support court, she and they all happy and shit. <laughs> they caught your ass. I'm like, whatever, bitch. Go in there and got to do what you got to do. Deal with it. And when you don't want to pay your child support court, or you want to fuss about it, why are there women always saying, take care of your kid? That ain't taking care of no motherfucking kid. Watching this motherfucker, dealing with this motherfucker, and being mad because you had him by that motherfucker. Because first off, if everybody in here could change who they had a baby by, or it'd be a lot of switching up going on. <laughs> and let's just, be, let's just be real. How many of us sat down at a table and planned on having a baby? Yeah, a lot of you motherfuckers is mistakes too. Motherfuckers wasn't having, hey, we need to have this talk about the family future. Some of you motherfuckers was fucking. There was some Hennessy involved. 
and somewhere on Cicero or Stony Island. That's how that shit went down. <laughs> hey, you fuck with a woman that's something like 50 something now? I'm talking about going on Cicero? I ain't going in them hotels. Bitch, you been all through them hotels. <laughs> hey, this, listen, this, this is not where you finna shout out and be saying shit. Shut the fuck up. Fuck the Poconos. Them bullshit, that was some bullshit too. You bring, you bring it back too many motherfucking memories, nigga. Talking about the Poconos. Zanzibar, that let, that let me know you was thotting for real. Because that's the first motherfucking hotel on Stony Island. It, she didn't even pass a couple more. I'm going on in that Zanzibar, pop this pussy. <laughs> and, and some of y'all fellas, y'all don't understand this. When your woman that you got now looks at you crazy about one of them bullshit ass hotels, I'm going to need you to do something. Just drive down Cicero or Stony Island and don't say shit. Shut the fuck up! Y'all ain't even doing all that memorable fucking goddamn. Drive down Cicero or Stony Island with your girl who say she don't fuck around them hotels. And just watch that bitch do some shit like that. <laughs> bitch, what you got, some memories in there? What you looking at? Why you think these kids, we, we, I come, I'm 53, the kids, the kids that we had, we we ain't really fuck with them. We was partying, we was kicking it. Before that, the motherfuckers was on crack real hard. Yeah, yeah we can talk about that. <laughs> so we was kicking with our kids. We we just now. This the age that we are now. Remember when you seen your grandmama, your great grandmama? They was all in the church. This the turning point. This the turning point age. So many women have been in so many lousy ass relationships. They wouldn't run out. God is my man. <laughs> Read the Bible. God stopped talking to you motherfucking bitches a long time ago. <laughs> who, you who you think got the most bullshit in the Bible? Women. A nigga couldn't even go to sleep with some nice hair that gave him strips. He cut his shit off. <laughs> Bitch got mad because God told her to stay in the house and name shit. And the man was going on the road. She wanted to go across the street and eat an apple and fuck a dick. So a whole lot of shit went on in that body. So nobody want to talk about it. Yeah, you know it. You know it's the truth. Now all these women is out here. Let me tell y'all something. I want y'all to pay attention to the women. These bitches just keep talking. Huh? They just gonna keep talking. Excuse me. Excuse me, lace front queens. Could y'all? Invisible parts. Could y'all shut the fuck up? Separate or something. Y'all ain't gonna be sitting right there. Talking. Yeah, that's how this go down. I, I, hey, you look good. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't talk about ugly motherfuckers. They already been talked about enough. <laughs> oh, Jesus, this is the shit I got to go through when I invite my friends. <laughs> and invite people. It's just, you know. life, is, life, is, life is crazy, man. I got married. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> 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 and all that flour and cake shit when that shit is over with it's a whole nother do you, you gotta be responsible for shit for a motherfucker and I, I, I was fucked up I was a kid that was the oldest that I didn't have no little brothers and sisters for a while so I really wasn't into sharing now I can eat some shit and here this motherfucking hand come in the plate <laughs> hey what are you doing I want some you could have ordered the same shit it's on the menu you can get two of them that's why I start, you got to start, all you niggas that ain't in a relationship, living with your girl in marriage, you got to change how you go and date. You let her order the food, and then when you look at the waitress, me too, same thing. <laughs> Get something different, no, bitch, you ain't going to be reaching over here, you already got it over there. I don't give a fuck if you vegan, bitch, I'm finna be eating vegan tonight. But marriage is cool. When shit is cool, but you gotta be a strong motherfucker. You gotta be a strong motherfucker to to go to bed mad with a motherfucker and say, I'm a stubborn nigga. I ain't finna be one of them bitch ass niggas that gotta sleep on the couch. Well, bitch, we gonna be in the bed together. Hmm. <laughs> Fuck about you being mad at me. I'm mad over here, you mad over there. <laughs> shit, I, I, me and my girl get mad. I sleep at the mother. 
fucking foot. See me sleep anyway. Why you sleep like that, bitch? Because we cousins right now. We cousins. Don't don't touch this side right here. Man, you gotta divide them. Gotta have fun though, man. Don't give a fuck what you do. When you wake up in the morning, your feet touch the side of the bed. Have fun. Why? Tomorrow ain't the fuck promise. We all found that shit out. See, the age that we was, when we was young, 20, we ain't know nothing about no motherfucking death. We ain't give a fuck about that. Remember how many motherfuckers really wasn't dying like they is now? From stupid shit? Man, we ain't give a fuck. We just, man, man, we, man, we just fall downstairs, jump up, run, nose bleeding, come in the house. What the fuck happened to you? I was just over there playing in the lawnmower. <laughs> Nigga, what? And your mama didn't want no medical motherfuckers. If your grandmama wasn't around with a remedy, your mama told you some simple shit. Go get that iodine and that motherfucking ginger ale. <laughs> what the fuck is them ever cured? Nothing. But you went and got it and you felt a little better. <laughs> motherfucker, hey, your motherfucker cousin, your motherfucker cousin be over. Man, you, you broke your leg stuff. We finna eat down there. You, you want your plate? Bitch, I'm hurt. I ain't, I ain't gonna be starving, motherfucker. Get my motherfucking food up here, man. I got cousins, and every one of us got the same type of cousin. Or a brother who we don't argue with. And there's people don't wonder why we don't argue with. Them. I'm not finna argue with no nigga that used to pee in the bed. <laughs> nigga, don't you, you can never get tough with me, and I know you used to pee in the bed a lot. Like, a lot. Like, it was no time I came over your house and it was smelling like a breezeway in the motherfucking ickies or something. <laughs> Nigga, you used to piss all on yourself. Who you, who you get loud with? I'm just saying, cuz, you ain't got to be like bringing that shit up. I ain't, I ain't did that shit since I was 17. Nigga, you peed since you was, it was 17? <laughs> Nigga, you supposed to have bitches by then. You pissing in the bed. Then you got them relatives that got, everybody had that relative that had the stinky house. But why your mama used to just drop you off over there? You, you over the whole weekend. Like, then your mama got nerve enough to pick you up and don't want to come in. Shake your coat off on that my mama. No, they got, no, Ernestine, them got them goddamn roaches. You ain't gonna bring them roaches in my house. Mama, why the fuck did you leave me over here though? Cause them your cousins. These kids couldn't stand to deal with the shit that we dealt with. We dealt with trauma, nigga. Trauma. Somebody's peeing in the bed, but you sleeping with them, they pissing on you. <laughs> now they could be like, it was him. No, nigga, it was you. He peed on you too. <laughs> Nasty motherfuckers, man. One of the worst motherfucking things in the world about coming from Chicago, to me it's not the worst, but it's the worst thing when people be asking me stupid shit about Chicago. Man, why they killing everybody in Chicago? The fucked up part, but now this fact is I could travel and doing comedy. Why they killing everybody? And I, I, I be looking at them like, who the fuck told them I know? <laughs> I got the answer, so I, I say stupid shit. When I, it's a known fact. When somebody say something stupid to you, it is your motherfucking duty to say something stupid back. Man, why they killing everybody in Chicago? They making room. Fuck you mean they make room? Go your ass, go your ass to go go to a funeral. Go to a funeral, somebody pass. You see somebody a day or two later that knew the person they couldn't get there. Maybe they might have work. Stupidest shit they say. How was the funeral? Bitch, it was a funeral. <laughs> say something stupid. I'm gonna say something stupid back. <laughs> How was the funeral? Nigga, it was some bitches in there. They put that motherfucking casket top down, nigga. They put some turntables on there. It was mixing and shit. I got a flyer for the next one. Who wanted you, nigga? Kill your stupid ass, motherfucker. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? You can't do some simple shit like you lose your keys or your phone. Lose your keys or your phone now. Well, they make a phone so motherfucking big, you shouldn't be able to lose, but lose your motherfucking keys or your phone. Tell somebody, man, I lost my keys and my phone. Where you lose that? Nigga, if I knew where, where it would be left, it wouldn't be, shut the fuck up talking to me. You gotta understand, man. We, 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 we always in a defense. 
we Generation X, the millennial motherfuckers, all them, them Z motherfuckers, all of them. All these kids, they, they asked me, I was walking with Farrakhan one day, they said, man, walk with me, brother. This is serious. He said, walk with me, what do you think we should do about the youth? I said, um, man, sir, I don't really think you, need, you want my answer. He said, I do, I do want your answer. I asked you. I said, well, before I give you the answer, I'm going to tell you something. See them kids sitting over there on that porch? You, they don't even know. They don't know who the fuck you is. They think you running for Alderman or something. <laughs> Jump out the car with all these suits and shit on, all these motherfuckers looking. I said, but you can't go over there and tell them nothing without leaving them something. I'm not talking about no money. You got to get these brothers somewhere to go, something to do. And saying, and then say like it's five of them. Only two of them going to want to go, and then the other two, one of the two going to want to change to not do that. So it's hard to reach these motherfuckers. So the other alternative I got is we need to bring back old punishment. Like, get about four of them together, chop their head off, put on a stake, put on a block. <laughs> put on the beginning of the block, I swear. You driving down the street in the Chevy, you see four heads on the block. Ooh, I ain't going on with that motherfucker, brother. What <laughs> yeah, certain shit stone these motherfuckers to death. All these vacant lots, all these vacant lots, nigga. Nigga bury a nigga to they motherfucking hip, tie some weights to their arms and put dirt on them and just keep hitting them with shit. <laughs> y'all, y'all looking all soft. Okay, well we'll do apples. Nigga, you know how fast or hard an apple is, nigga? No, <laughs> pop, pop that motherfucking head. Then out of that, you'll find who can play baseball. I worked for two years trying to change a lot of them kids, and then them niggas was like, man, fuck all that shit, man. We out here with, they don't want to do shit but pop pills and sleep with each other. Oh, my motherfucking ass, because that's some of y'all nephews and <laughs> sons and shit. Freak body motherfuckers. And all of them stink. I don't know what it is. They all stink. Stink like a motherfucker. Nigga, do you know water and soap? They go together. My motherfucking son, one of my sons is uh, old bucket beating motherfucker. Beat the bucket. This nigga used to be on the back porch doing that shit. I said, what are you doing? I'm practicing, man. Practicing. You practicing beating on the bucket. Nigga ain't even no rip. You know what, nigga? So he fucked me up one day. He said, man, daddy, you know, I watched one of your shows, man. I'm about to be old enough so I can come to the comedy show with you and check you out. I was like, that's cool, son. I'd love for you to do that. So I thought about, he beating the buckets, I need to go see him. You know? I went and checked him out. My son was pretty good. I just couldn't stay long because the light changed. Go. He'd be sitting at this light all day watching you make noise. Fuck is wrong with you, Shaquille? But that nigga's an innovator. Let me tell you what that nigga did. He fucked me up. That nigga be traveling all over the country, make enough money to go get a hotel for a week and go to wherever a stadium is or a basketball and sit there and beat the buckets. And he had a motherfucking cash app on the thing and everything. The nigga came down to Atlanta and made $3,000 in like, in like about four or five days. This is a, it's a place called Battery Park. He was down there. And I'm, I'm doing Uber and Lyft. I'm steady driving past. And I done forgot. <laughs> nigga, I forgot because, you know, my son don't live there. And I forgot. And I drove past one time, I said, that nigga look like my son. <laughs> Damn, that is this motherfucker. Like, what the fuck? That nigga came my house later on that night, he was counting that motherfucker. Man, I said, hey, nigga, where you get them buckets from? Man? <laughs> Beat me a motherfucking bucket, bro. But the bucket boys in Chicago, they, they done moved, they done moved on. The water, nigga, the water, the water, the water shit started here in Atlanta. Some, one, a nigga, it was a nigga woke up one day broke. Broke, then the motherfucker had an idea. You know what? He probably woke his girl up. Baby, I'm finna go sell some water. No, these motherfucking women. Sell some, boy, everybody got water. Not right by the damn Ryan, ain't got no water. I'm gonna stand out there with that water cold in the motherfucker with that shit glistening off the top of that bitch and just say, water, 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 water. And somebody gonna be like, you know what, let me get one of the water. Shit, they nigga woke up and done that shit. But they doing that shit in Atlanta now. And they doing it all wrong because, you know, in Chicago, they hit every corner. There's four corners. They on every corner. 
in Atlanta. That nigga is one pound. I pissed them the fuck off. They pull up to my car. Hey, hey, oh, oh, everybody on. Nigga, I ain't. I'll fuck your mama, nigga. I ain't your uncle. Niggas pull up. They water. I be having my water in the car. What y'all want? <laughs> fuck away from my motherfucking car. I ain't. Buying that street water from you peasant ass niggas. Them niggas are up their game though. You know what they got out there now? Gatorade, nigga. I said, nigga, this is not a sports center sitting in the car. Say this, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. If there's any women in here that do not go down on their men, please, when you walk outside, I hope you burst into flames. <laughs> the fuck? If you got a girl in your crew and you know she don't go down on a man, you need to leave that bitch alone, unfollow her from Facebook. This bitch is an enemy. Now I'm gonna tell that bitch an op. She's an op for real. Let me tell y'all how. Let me tell y'all how. You could be at a bar four, five days with your girl, kicking it. Y'all out. You know, girl, four or five y'all, not four or five days. Four or five y'all out kicking it. A dude walked by that one of y'all gave some here to a couple years ago, probably. That motherfucker gonna say, What are you and your friends drinking? Oh, your old mouth working. Got y'all around the drinks. But now it's another bitch in the crew that would have jawboned the nigga but didn't. He walked past us. Fuck that bitch. <laughs> y'all got to cut out, man. Y'all y'all know y'all love that, ladies. Y'all love a free round. I don't be bad. I'm fucked up. I ain't, I ain't like a lot of my friends. I ain't buying you shit to drink. We ain't fucking. I ain't buying you shit to drink. I need to know we fucking first. I went to the, a, a, a woman did some bullshit to me, me and one of my boys one day. I go fuck around and go to the White Palace. That's my spot. And it ain't for the food. I go to the White Palace because I like to kick it in that motherfucker. I'm in the White Palace kicking it. We come from the club. I said, meet me at the palace. You know what I'm saying? We're going to sit out chill. She bring two of her girls with us. It's three of them. I called my man. I said, nigga, you going in? No. He said, man, no girl got some of my friends with her. My other boy had went in. He come back. We sitting there. We talking. Nigga, we didn't talk till the sun came up. In my mind, all I'm thinking about is, what time do the host tell do the rooms, you know? You know how they say you can't check in at 3 o'clock sometimes? So, man, which one of the motels I'm going to be on? So I'm talking, and we finna leave. So the check come. This motherfucker, I put down the money for me and old girl. She look at the thing and look, she said, you ain't going to buy any food? I said, it's y'all. Finna run a train on me? <laughs> See, if y'all training, I'm paying. And I'm talking about in the car. I ain't going nowhere. I'm in the car. You petty as hell. Yes, whatever the fuck you want to call it, bitch, you ain't going to be eating off me. You hoes came outside without no money. Where are y'all mamas at? That's what I need to speak with, because I know your mama told you don't come outside without no money. And we going to sit here and we going to argue all motherfucking day and I'm going to take the money from you who I thought I was going to fuck for real. And you're going to be eating this motherfucker. I'll I, I be in this restaurant. They ain't going to charge me for shit. I walk up to that motherfucker. Boy, hey, I done done it before. I done walked up to the... I'll be right back. I'm going to pay this. I'll be right back. I done walked up to that motherfucker, paid my portion, and told him she was going to get her. Yeah, my portion. <laughs> and tip the bitch. She going to pay you when we come up. Hey, I'm going to go get the car. I'll be right back. <laughs> fuck you. Women play too motherfucking much. Y'all know that's what we want. We want to fuck. Don't want anybody to be, be sitting around all the more bullshit ass stories you be having about your kids in an honor roll and what church your mama go to. I don't give a fuck what that don't do. What that arch look like. Some men are better at lying longer. I'm telling you the truth now. Hey, I want to fuck you. Then I want to see what the fuck you're about. And ladies, why the fuck y'all not like that? Because a lot of y'all done made a motherfucker wait for a long time and then found out this nigga's dick is a 4T gummy bear. You done introduced this nigga to everybody in the church. 
at the school, all this bullshit. Thinking I took his drawers off that night, y'all thought it was going to go down yours. Some shit going, <laughs> what's that? Oh, my dick, I need you to wake it up. Boy, ain't nobody waking up, no kids. Y'all be playing games yourself. Stop, stop waiting to get satisfied. It's satis get satisfied. It's satisfied. Y'all need, need to do what y'all do when y'all get a car. There's not a woman in this motherfucker that ever bought a car and just rolled off the motherfucking lot with it. What y'all do? Y'all test drive that mother. Test drive these dicks. You know you can fuck a dude one time and see what it's about. If that's the, the level of sex you want. And start telling a motherfucker what you want in the bed. Don't be in that. You need you out of know. Bitch, I don't know you. This pussy's new right here. All pussies ain't alike. All licking ain't alike. When a nigga lick you, they some some of y'all like to get licked like that. Some of y'all like to get licked like that. Some of y'all got to get it swirled. Some of y'all like to get sucked and swirled at the same time. I ain't going to tell you my skills, but I'm just trying to tell you. <laughs> it ain't alike. By the time I find out, my motherfucking jaw numbed in the motherfucker. And God forbid, if I, God forbid, if I done been there all that time, I turn over, you know, we don't ask. We turn over, we, yeah. You rolling out? All right, man. Love you, boy. It's my man, Ray, been supporting me for a long time, man. Y'all get a nigga round applause. He texted me, he texted me, he said, man, I'm, I seen you having a show, man. I'm finna roll down on you. It's all right. <laughs> hey, hey, I know y'all say I'm stupid. That you, he have a conversation with that motherfucker. That nigga's an asshole. I say, nigga, you seen one of my motherfucking thing? I'll roll over your foot. <laughs> nigga, what? No, I roll over my foot. Just gotta do your thing, man. You gotta have fun, man. This, that COVID shit, that COVID. What the fuck is that? It's my time. Do you, did, you, did, I, did I tell you this was a taping, motherfucker? I don't need you to be saying shit. You want me to tell them about that dress? Let me tell y'all something. Fuck all that. Since, since a nigga want to be, you know. Since a nigga want to be in, I'll make sure he in. So, this is my buddy, you know, sheriff. Bullshitting one day, this nigga comes down to Atlanta. I think his daughter was in Atlanta or something. He come in Atlanta, and he fucking around. And he said, man, I need to holler at your barber. I introduced him to my barber. Him and my barber talk. Me and my barber tell you, it's the same barber six years. I tell him, this is one of my closest friends from childhood. So when you tell a motherfucker that, their antennas is up. I done left him in the barber shop. I come back to the barber shop the next motherfucking week. The whole goddamn shop looking at me crazy than a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, what up, what up, what up? Everybody call me my name. What up, dude? What's up, dude? Fuck is y'all? What's wrong? Y'all, we... My barber's like, hey, man, I got to holler at you about something, man. I'm like, what? Now, I'm in Atlanta now. We go outside. He said, man, you know, your man's who came down there, man, he real cool, man. But he, he had told us, man, that you was, you know, you was on the low key, man. You was on the gay side. <laughs> what? <laughs> you lying. No, nigga, that's why everybody in there looking. Because, you know, we been having these manly conversations. And now you, you, your friend from when y'all was teenagers and kids. Said you was gay. I said, I'm going to kill this motherfucker. <laughs> so I called him. I hadn't heard from him because I seen him and took him to the barbershop, but I left and he left. So I called him. Just like a friend, he picked up the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. When I see you, nigga, you better have your gun on you, nigga. You're dead. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what happened. God worked in mysterious ways. This motherfucker driving a bus <laughs> full of inmates, right? I don't know. I'm going in the county because somebody, one of my cousins had got shot. So I'm going to, uh, what ain't the county? What they call it? Strozier. I'm going to Strozier. I'm walking. Motherfucker. That white bus pull up, the doors open. He driving. I said, so you mean to tell me you ain't going to call me? I've been waiting for you to call me. And you driving this bus. And that's what the fuck you go... Boy, the light was red. That nigga said, yeah! Dude, them niggas on the back of that butt beating. Oh, 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 oh. I'm like, yeah, take that back to work with you, motherfucker. That nigga, that nigga got off work. He said, hey, man, I will kill you. I will kill you. I said, stop fucking with me, nigga. 
That nigga said, I ain't never seen nobody jump gay that quick. I was like, nigga, that was my time. I had to get it because I ain't know how long that light was. Well, that nigga ran the light in a Cook County Jail bus, man. Endangering them inmates because he didn't want to speak to his date. <laughs> If I'd have had enough time, I told him, I'm finna go out here now and get checked for this STD I think you gave me. That nigga, I ain't, I ain't know them buses could go, ah! <laughs> oh, motherfucker. I hate that nigga, man. I got some friends, though. I got some friends that have been my friends since we was, man, before, before a nigga was who he is now. And the friends that I have, I'm blessed to have them because they're assholes. So that's one too. <laughs> but the reason that y'all don't see me doing fucked up shit now in this damn time is because of niggas like that. I'm a, I done did some shit that nigga June Bugger called. Hey man, what the fuck is this shit I done heard? And that's June Bug right there. And let me tell y'all about June Bug. I got to tell y'all this because it's real and it's funny. June Bug is the only friend that I know that has mastered. Stuttering. <laughs> a lot of people don't know June Bug Stutter. The reason they don't know Bug Stutter is because Bug talks slow. <laughs> He's just started talking slow. Hey, man, let me tell you something. Man. <laughs> Anybody, it was one day I, I figured it out because I forgot. We was younger than niggas, he stuttered, and I forgot that nigga stutter. And so we was talking to me one day, I was like, man, why the fuck your stories already be so goddamn long, man? I told you I gotta go to some motherfucking way. I missed my appointment listening to you. <laughs> then I realized one day, because the nigga was drunk and that stutter shit came back, that nigga was like, man, I. Oh! oh. <laughs> nigga, now I know why. You cut the closed caption off. You motherfucking bastard. This nigga cut the closed caption off. That's why I didn't know that this nigga stuttered. He had it on it. That's all they be wanting. That's all my friends be wanting me to talk about him at a comedy show. Now people going to be really listening to him. <laughs> Go on, say something, Joe Bud. Say something. Watch how long it be. Come on. Come on. Are we listening. We listening. It's my friend. Oh, how many of your jokes? I, I didn't steal your jokes because you're not a comedian. You're my friend that be talking shit. And yes, I'm going to use that shit on stage. Who's going to know? <laughs> Who the fuck going to really listen to you that long to know you said it? They're going to be like, no, nah, he ain't say that. Because what you said was fast. He talks slower than a motherfucker. I mean, go on, dig your hole a little bit deeper. Go on, dig it deeper. But no, I got, I got, the reason I was saying that because I got some good motherfucking friends that really uh, get on my ass, and I got the, I, it's shit in life that I be doing, and I be like, man, what this nigga gonna say? I don't wanna hit this nigga mouth. But if R. Kelly would've had them type of motherfucking friends, he might not be, you know? I'm not saying I'll be thinking about fucking young bitches, because I can't stand them. <laughs> oh my God. My oldest daughter's 28 years old, these young bitches ain't got a chance with me. I ain't tricking off, I ain't doing none of that shit. Fuck all that. Young bitch came to me the other day, telling me, hey, I need somebody like you. I said, for what? She said, you look like a sugar daddy. Bitch, I got diabetes. I ain't sugar shit. <laughs> Better get the fuck away from me. Who told you? Who the fuck told you that, bitch? I got, I got the sugars. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I can't deal, I can't deal with no. I can't be dealing with no motherfuckers and their kids. They get them little kids and little badass kids be want to come around. You know, women, y'all, y'all need to start. Just, just put locks on your door when you, you trying to fuck. Get a lock and put on your door. Them kids be busting in. They know you got a new nigga in there. What y'all in there doing? I was about to take my dick out till you came in. They want to play Uno and play. You. I want to show you my new game, nigga. I don't want to see your game. I'm trying to see your mama, nigga. Or your nana. <laughs> look at my that mother. Look at that mother. Look at that bona fide serial killer right there. Nigga. That's, that's a serial killer waiter right there, nigga. <laughs> Duck your head, nigga. You just gonna walk past the camera like that. 
That's a, if y'all know there's a one piece he got on, right? It's a whole one piece he got on. That motherfucker come off all that together. <laughs> that's, that's, that motherfucker zip up in the back. Take that motherfucker off like this. <laughs> I be saying some fucked up shit, but I be for real. I like, I like to have fun. I'm tell y'all something, cause this life ain't promised, man. Bullshit that we be facing and going through. That COVID, I don't even understand. That shit almost took me the fuck out. And I caught it doing this. Being around motherfuckers. When it, when, when, Cause we didn't think it was serious. 2020, March 18th, I had a birthday show. Popping. Do you know it was one motherfucker in that way? Hand sanitizer. It was me. Because I was being an asshole, joking with motherfuckers, like, oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Then, you know, you listen to people that you think got knowledge that don't have knowledge. All these woke motherfuckers need to go to sleep. Them woke motherfuckers is getting on my motherfucking nerves. Hey, one of my friends tell me, uh, yeah, man, you know that COVID can't get to our melanin. And the way he was explaining melanin, the nigga had made me think melanin was a force field. I was like, nigga, that shit sound true. Nigga, what? Next week, that motherfucker COVID was in my chest. Fucking me up. I didn't know what the fuck was wrong with me. Fucked around, went to the hospital. I, at first, when I got to Atlanta, let me tell you something. <laughs> I got on the motherfucking phone. I was getting off the plane. I called my wife. I said, hey, look, you need to come pick me up from the airport and take me to the hospital. She's like, why? I said, I can't tell you because there's a lot of people. Uh, I, think, I think I got that shit. <laughs> She's like, what shit? This shit that everybody been catching that they ain't really talking about. Right? I get in the market, but let me tell you, first I called my sister, told her to pick me up. She's like, nigga, I gotta go to work. You ain't finna be getting me sick. You better get in the Uber or something, motherfucker. Nigga, let me tell you something. I got in that mother. I got in the back of the car. Get to the hospital. Them some bitches is a hospital in Atlanta called Wellstar. Do not go to that motherfucker. Them motherfuckers told me I had strep throat. I never had strep. Now you know the swabs they used to put up your nose. They had them swabs put down my throat and was like, oh yeah, it's got strep throat. You good? Gave me some motherfucking medicine. Sent me home. While I'm in the crib, fluid is building in my lungs. It got to the point where I was laying down, then I had to sit up. And I was sitting up. My wife went out to go do something. She came back in. She said, uh-uh, wake up. We finna go to the hospital. I said, who's sick? What happened? <laughs> nigga, you, you sitting up sleep, nigga. She said, your breathing ain't right. Took me to the hospital. And let me tell y'all, when you, when, you, when you find out somebody crazy, you, you got to know that they crazy. She told the people at the, at the, the emergency room, I don't know what the fuck y'all got going on. Somebody I can't come back there. But I know y'all better let this one come back up out of there. Or it's going to be some problems. I said, and you finna leave? And you gonna tell them that? <laughs> Bitch, I'm finna die. I am finna to die. They took me in that motherfucker. They told me within two hours, they said, you got viral pneumonia. They ain't know if I had the COVID because they had to test me. That's when it took a few days. High blood pressure, never had high blood pressure before, and diarrhea. I, they told me I had diarrhea before the diarrhea came. I said, I ain't got a, oh shit, yes I do. Let me get up out this bed. Took me in the basement and I had to wait. I was in the basement for four motherfucking weeks in the observation room. While I'm down there in the observation room, let me tell y'all something. I'm, I'm pretty much a tough motherfucker. I ain't scared of too much shit. So I'm sitting there watching TV. Can't breathe. They got the oxygen on me. All type of shit. They give me this medicine. I'm going in and I'm going out. I'm trying to text motherfuckers, call motherfuckers. And my phone wouldn't work down there, but the Wi-Fi was working. My Wi-Fi, my girl called me on the Wi-Fi. My baby called me on the Wi-Fi. My daughter called me on the Wi-Fi. They called me on, on, on the Facebook. That's how I was able to talk to motherfuckers because I was in that motherfucker by myself. When the people came in to do whatever they had to do, they was in that motherfucker with a full Nassau suit on. I'm looking like, these, these bitches got astronaut suits in this. This is some serious shit. 
And I'm watching the news and, and Trump and motherfucking puss ass in office trying to tell motherfuckers, well, if we drink some bleach, we're going to be okay. Nigga, no. Doctor came in one day, cut that motherfucker shit off. He said, man, don't listen to that motherfucker. Don't and the lung doctor, he said, I'm going to tell you some real shit, man. We don't know what this shit is. We find that out every day by y'all. Why, why he talking about to me a motherfucking gurney go past with a motherfucker on it wrapped up? I said, who, who was that? <laughs> so all that is a person that just uh, died from the COVID. So what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to put you on a ventilator like they did him. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to work this oxygen and make sure it's, huh? God damn. Other doctor came, it was a regular doctor. Nigga with the dot on his head. Let me tell you, he pissed me off. Pissed me the fuck off. He gonna say, huh? You have the COVID-19. Are you from Chicago? I'm thinking he's gonna ask me where, you know, if I think I got it from Chicago. I'm like, yeah, I'm from Chicago. He said, did you know they are doing a documentary on Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls? <laughs> Bitch, get out of here! Get out of here, I don't care about that! Oh, my last breath, I'm going to choke your motherfuckers too. I'm going I'm to shake that dot off your motherfucking head. You don't get the fuck out of my motherfucking room. I'm talking about some Michael Jordan and the Bulls. I don't know nothing about that shit. This motherfucker died. Got water coming out of my ears and shit. But by the grace of God, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I prayed. I prayed. I prayed. I prayed. You know, I, I, I chomped. No, oh, thank you, man. And that nigga don't pray at all, so I know that was good for him. <laughs> And um, <laughs> yeah, he going <laughs> that nigga gonna say my whole hospital thing was staged. I was trying to get my followers up. <laughs> I said, this nigga is an ass ho. <laughs> nigga, I can't breathe. What you talking about? But I, I think my great grandmother, my great grandmama Emma Bates, left some pr some spare prayers around for me, cause I made it up out of there, and then I got home, and that was the fight. Do y'all know, I didn't know, I didn't know we was on lockdown. Because I had been in there since the lockdown started. And I, we, on the, we on the driving back to the crib. I'm like, where the fuck everybody at? <laughs> Nigga, you know, let me tell you something. You know something fucked up. Ain't no line at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> but no line at Chick-fil-A with no motherfucking cars in Walmart. I said, Nigga, what has happened? My wife gonna say, oh, we on lockdown. I was like, for what? She's like, that shit you got, nigga. She pulling up at her mask and shit. Huh? <laughs> Bitch, let the windows down in if you don't want to get this shit. Get to the crib. I had to have a big ass thing, oxygen, big machine. I had them two motherfucking torpedoes. A couple of my buddies, you know what I'm saying? They was cool. They was like, hey, man, we finna come get you, man. And so we finna go. They wanted to go to the store or something. I was like, nigga, I can't walk. I had to get on these things and I gotta walk, nigga. You know? I had to carry this shit with me. They was like, man, that's fucked up. I was like, yeah, nigga, I'm too motherfucking cool. I ain't finna be dragging no motherfucking oxygen torpedo with me, nigga. I'm cool, nigga. Ain't nobody never finna take no pictures at. That's why I got online and told motherfuckers my damn self about it. <laughs> finna be laughing at me. Me, oh, nigga. And then I lost so much weight. Nigga, you know what? You don't lose weight where you want to lose weight. I lost weight in my arms, nigga. I had the arms of a six-year-old motherfucking girl. <laughs> we was on that motherfucking house party or live, whatever that shit was. I must have raised my hand talking to my boy KD, scratched my hand. He said, wait a minute. He said, what, what, what was that you had in your hand? I was like, I ain't had shit in my hand. That was my motherfucking arm in my hand. What is this nigga raise it up again? I did it. He said, hey, 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 G, look, get yourself together. <laughs> Don't come back to Chicago. You know all that shit you've been doing and was doing? Somebody see them little ass arms, boy, they gonna beat your ass, boy. <laughs> little ass arms you got, nigga. Them all don't even look real, nigga. I had the fucking equilibrium in every pill. Let me tell y'all something. We gotta do something better in life because this medicine is fucking you up. I had 11 motherfucking medications I had to take. I took them for a month before I realized when they was fucking me up. Let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to tell y'all. It's real shit. I woke up for a month straight. Dick was sleep. <laughs> sleep. I had to realize when I said, hey, 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 wait a minute. I went in the bathroom, take a piss. I said, hey, look here, look here. Come on. 
You all right? <laughs> Motherfuckers like, I'm drunk. I got the Google and all that motherfucking medicine. Every medicine had two things in common. Diarrhea and erectile dysfunction. I call that doctor. I said, hey, you bitch ass nigga. Well, is you at the office? Cause I'm coming, dick nigga. Why you got me this, this she got my dick nodding slip, nigga. This motherfucker gonna tell me, well, Mr. Phillips, if I would have told you that, would you think you would have took the medicine? Bitch, you finna take a dirt nap. <laughs> Call my cousin. My cousin was on the shit, a lot of pills too. He said, nigga, go hurry up, go to GNC, take all that medicine, swap that shit out, take this tea, take this other shit, and man, get your shit together, man, because that shit gonna fuck you up. This medicine was worse than the fucking COVID. Literally worse than the COVID. And they just keep trying to sell you that shit, keep trying to get that shit. Man, I had it, it took me three months. Woke up one day, early in the morning, my dick was standing on my chest, nigga, we back. She ain't here, go get her. Cause we back, nigga, we back. The oh, fuck, that shit'll kill you, then fuck you up, and niggas, it's, it's a lot of women be talking about niggas got erectile dysfunction. Bitch, you ain't cooking right. And I meant that, hey bitch, you not cooking right. Y'all cooking all this fried shit, all this other stupid shit. And let me tell y'all something. Collard greens and all of that shit sound good, but we can't eat that shit no more like that. We can't eat that shit. We, we ain't eating the food that our grandmama them used to cook us. Them pigs ain't the same. <laughs> but fuck cows ain't the same. But fuck them good ass, no, them brown and served sausages, them ain't the same. You gotta watch what the fuck you eating. You gotta, you gotta research that shit. Regular food, nigga. I eat at your restaurant, so I must be all right, so shut the fuck up. Man, this nigga want to know I'm eating. You having dick problems, too? <laughs> okay, I'm just trying to figure this out, because if you want to know what I'm eating, I'm eating more green food. I'm eating motherfucking boiled shit. I'm eating grilled shit. I'm not frying shit, and I'm going to get that shit and going to cook that shit. I'm, I'm not playing. I'm eating more salads and all that. I've lost a lot of weight, nigga. I don't know if you know so I'm up and fine on these hoes, so... <laughs> I don't know why you asking questioning me about what I'm doing, sir. Did you see this nigga? This nigga? No, cocaine is another thing. You don't see my you don't see my motherfucking mouth. That's cocaine, nigga. That's cocaine you do that now. Shut the fuck up. You look like you're nodding. I said I never invited them. Never invited them. And I didn't invite the other one. He he brought the motherfucker with him. But bullshit ain't about nothing. Serious, all bullshit aside, black men, we are under attack in a lot of ways. One of the main ways is through this food, man. And ladies, y'all want motherfuckers, just put it like this. If you don't want to like, you don't like a motherfucker, if that nigga's bringing money in, bitch, cook right for him so he can keep on getting up and going to work. The fuck? Black household is under fucking attack. Women don't want to cook no more, and some of them don't know how to cook. Please teach your nieces and them how to cook and tell them motherfuckers what to cook. This motherfucker be like, I ain't cooking nothing. Okay, bitch, we ain't going out to eat no more. Yeah. I ain't finna be up here too much longer, man. Let me tell y'all something. I'm glad y'all came out to support a brother. Glad y'all came out to support a brother. Comedy over depression is my foundation. Could y'all shut the fuck up? This is the worst day plan. <laughs> we had all types of shit. Niggas couldn't get their seats right. <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. Hey, change the venue. The, the venue, the first venue was owned by the second venue. Hmm? No. Yeah, shit happens, and I'm glad shit happens because you learn from it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, that's when when you know he drunk. That nigga done called me a fool. That nigga done called my phone at four o'clock in the morning. Hey man, what you doing? I ain't doing shit. What's up? You know we all we got, man. <laughs> we all we got, boy. We all we got. I call you back. Hey, Joe Buck, get the fuck off my phone. I was asleep. <laughs> then I called him the next day. I'd be like, man, you good? Yeah, man, what's going on? What's happening? 
Oh, you called me last night? Man, they ain't call you. Look on your motherfucking phone. I'll call you back. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He back. Because my man, my, my, my camera crew, my cameraman, we, we grammar school, high school, that motherfucker called me one day, but it was some more serious shit. He called me, had me and him on the phone cries. Man, you was sick. I was sick. We was sick, man. We was sick. <laughs> we got to get it together. Hey, I'm going to call you back. I'm going to call you back. <laughs> Niggas do not like crying. Niggas don't like, like crying, man. I had to cry one time when my nephew got killed. I had to go in the bathroom. I was around my motherfucking wife, and I didn't want her to see me cry. But, you know, being married, a bitch will walk in the bathroom. I'm on the toilet. I ain't shit. I'm just sitting on the toilet. I got tears in my seat. What's wrong? I was crying. This shit won't come out, and I forgot to let the top up. Get out, get out. <laughs> Tell y'all ladies something before I get up out of here. Stop bullshitting. Stop bullshitting with all this bullshit ass hash shit y'all be doing. Y'all edges are destroyed. <laughs> now, I have I have a solution. Mohawks. Mohawks are the way. Nigga won't know if you had no edges or no sides. <laughs> Some of a girl gonna tell me one day about her head, you shouldn't dye your beard. I said, bitch, you should not tell me that's an invisible part and I can see it. <laughs> I can see it. What are you talking about? It sits right there. It's too much stupid shit that y'all be doing. Getting all these motherfucking micro braids, all these motherfucking. These bitches braid your hair so motherfucking tight you can't even go to sleep. And they got a baby on their motherfucking hip. Why they doing it? Cooking some goat meat in the back. <laughs> How much shit y'all got to go through for y'all hair? Just do it yourself. Take time. You do your hair, your daughter will watch you doing her hair. I mean, doing your hair. She'll not want to learn how to do hair. You know what I'm saying? You gotta keep the grooming shit together, man, because some of that shit don't be right. Y'all be getting these motherfucking lace runs in the middle part up here. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's why they be trying not to let a nigga stand over. They be, mm, mm, mm. Go on. What you doing? Go on. Hey, bitch, why that look like a top of a TP right there? Mm. Look like smoke come up out that motherfucker. What the fuck is you doing, man? What? They, they can you already know what's going to happen. <laughs> I have never been that type of comedian. I like to fight. <laughs> but fucking will, it will if they want to. They're going to be like, hey, boy. And they got it on tape. Yeah, this shit, this shit going to be hot. So come on up here. <laughs> come on up here. I'm going to sock a motherfucker to shrunk up. Then they're going to get hit in the head on the way out. You know how many friends I got in this motherfucker? What's the fuck a motherfucker would? But. Ladies, get y'all shit together, man. We love y'all. Black love is under attack, man. Y'all are the part of the motherfucking reason. Some of what y'all want a motherfucking man to do. And y'all ain't doing more. You can't tell me you want six figures and you ain't got three motherfucking figures. <laughs> I'm just saying that. Don't be that. You can't get higher than who you are. Men are the only one that date motherfucking up. No, we date down. We, we, get, a, we get a motherfucker that ain't got shit and try to build up. Y'all be up on a high mountain somewhere thinking y'all too, and, and, cool, and you're going to die alone. A lot of y'all 45, older, ain't been proposed to or been proposed to and turned that nigga down and looking for the next nigga to ride up. That was it. <laughs> the train is gone. I didn't like him because he really didn't know what direction. Put direction in your man. Let me tell y'all something. Do y'all know y'all can suck a nigga dick and get him started on some real shit? <laughs> suck a nigga dick and tell him to read this resume while you sucking his dick. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, y'all, y'all don't know. Women, y'all are in control and y'all losing. Fuck that. That's why I said I would never sleep on the couch. Bitch, we gonna be mad till we ain't mad at each other no more. Fuck is you talking about, man? Y'all gotta get this shit together because I hate. All these, all these shows and all these podcasts, all these women talking about men ain't this, men ain't that. 
first off, y'all raised us. All this single mother shit, y'all raised us with that bitterness in y'all heart. All that bullshit, you got a nigga fucked up. Now, now y'all got these emotional ass grandkids around there dragging bitches down the street because they was like, I don't think I want to date you. What? <laughs> y'all look at the news every motherfucking day and y'all see this shit, man. We got to fix it. I don't know how, but I say you start in your own motherfucking house. Start your own motherfucking house. Do what the fuck you got to do, man. I got to get deep, motherfucker. It's called comedy over depression. I don't give a fuck what they ain't ready for. They're going to be in the herd. And then when the shit hit their face, they're going to be like, ball show this, say that. <laughs> but let me tell y'all something. I love y'all. Um, I got my comedy over depression t-shirts back there. Get a t-shirt that supports my foundation. And the foundation is for two things. One, controlling my career. Because y'all see these niggas ain't booking motherfuckers like me. And I want y'all to give a round of applause to the nigga who got me started, my man Marlon Mitchell back there. When y'all see, when y'all see these shows, these big ass shows that come to Chicago, you never see me and Marlon on them. You never see me and Marlon on them. And everybody's they keep asking me why. I said, nigga, why the fuck y'all don't question them people? But they scared them a motherfucker. So that's why I said, you know what? I'm from the South Side. I'm from Inglewood. It was GD all my life. I'm gonna do my own shit. What? Nigga, take your beard off. I know it's Velcro. I love y'all. I'm going to be back there kicking it. Peace out, y'all.